Good afternoon, everyone. This is Deacon Up coming to you again from Power in Unity Ministries. And uh, before I forget, thumbs up. Uh, subscribe, send it to somebody that you know needs it. I've gotten some wonderful testimonies back. I've gotten wonderful, um, encouraging words for the for the what God is doing here. My assignment right now is to encourage the people, to encourage people around the world. And that's what I'm trying to do through his word. And he told me from the beginning, I said, Lord, I said, I just don't have time to sit down like a lot of ministers do and and just make and, and get a sermon up. He says, you don't have to do that. I think I've told you this before. He said, just give them exactly what I tell you. So when I first started out with the videos, that's what I did. I looked up to the different words that God had given me in the past. And then finally one day, I guess it's been two or three months ago now, maybe further, that I said, Lord, give me something fresh and something new. I mean, it could be the same thing he said 10 years ago, but if it's fresh and new, that means he meant what he said, right? So anyway, that's exactly what he's been doing. Every time I give you a word, it is fresh and new from the portals of glory. Um, this one today is going to be just a little bit uh, different. Oh, one more thing about giving. If you want to be a part and donate to help us to reach people around the world. There's so many, so many things we want to do. And of course, finances is all a part of that. Um, do not want your tithes unless you do not go to any other church. Um, just a gift if that's what you'd like to do. And at the moment, we have a gift through, through cash tag. I have to stop and think what it's called. But we're planning on getting a few more uh, different ways to do it kind of waiting on the um, website to go up. We're in the process of maybe moving, and that's kind of holding us up on getting an actual P.O. box because we're going to move from this town to another one. And so it, it, that was just trying to stop a lot of chaos in that area. But just letting you know what's going on with us and <clears throat> thanking and appreciating each one of you. As I started to say a minute ago, this less this will be a little bit different because my heart has been grieved, you might say, at some uh, things that I have seen and found out. Know a lot of things about the history and what's going on in the world today and how it got the way we are. In fact, I wrote a book in 2015, never was published because... Um, lack of funds. I hate to even say that, but I know God knows his timing is perfect when that book shall be released and helping us to see how we started on a downward track in, 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 a, in America, but how he's also going to bring us back. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. But what got me stirred this week, I don't know if you've heard it, but I know I have heard it uh, in the past about how our quarters were changed and I actually saw pictures of it on the internet, but I said, you know, in the internet nowadays, they can do anything they want to. They can make you think um, the impossible is possible just because of technology. And a lot of things that you see on TV are not possible with man. There's no way that possible that a human being could do some of the things you see on TV. But it's because of the technology they can make us see and think these things through, through the different movies and uh, programs that they have. And you know that as well as I do. So for just to see a picture of a quarter uh, that says that uh, um, they put the head of George Washington um, away from In God We Trust. When if you look on your quarters, you will see, and I'm going to try to bring these up on the set. Thank you, Jesus. I didn't know if I'd be able to do it. I've had a time. But all the quarters up until 2022 has George Washington look facing in God we trust. And in 2022, the quarter was changed where George Washington's face is against the words power and unity. Like he turned his back on it. And that's what I see. And, uh, I finally found one. I mean, I just came into my hand and I said, well, I guess this is the time to talk to the people a little bit about such little things like that. And I, two days ago, I got this quarter and I told my husband and I've showed a few people that I know that, you know, this is proof. This is this is actually happened. 
And I got to thinking about it, and I thought, Lord, I said, this is, it just bothered me. It bothered me immensely. And I got to thinking about, let me see if I can, I closed it off. <clears throat> anyway, it had something to do with women. Now, you can look this up on the Internet and uh, find out exactly. But it had to do with, um, and, and I, I shut my phone down. I was going to quote it from the phone, and I shut it down so, uh, so it wouldn't ring on me today. So I don't have that for proof. But you could go on the Internet and just put in there, when did the quarters change uh, in 2022? Why did it change? And it will come up and tell you it has something to do with the convention of women, uh, how women had um, evolved and all their workings together, how they had got, you know, they had taken such a, a dramatic place in the world today, something to that effect. And um that was why, and I'm thinking, oh my God, that is even worse. Uh, I, I, I don't want. To, I'm not into politics. I don't want to get into politics. If I ever did, it would be strictly on God, because uh, that's just not my thing. But I see, I see in the spirit, and I see in the natural the things that are going on. This, and I kept saying, Lord, this seems like such a little thing. And then you know what He said to me. He said, it's the little foxes that spoil the vine. Right out of scripture, the little foxes spoil the vine. And you're going to see in the word that he gave me today how this fits together with what he's trying to tell us. And, uh, you know, I'm looking at, um, at George Washington turned his back. On, I mean, his head is, he's back, turned himself away from in God we trust. What is that saying about our nation? The same thing uh, in our coins in, in uh, 1955, I think it was President Eisenhower who actually mandated that it was to be put on our coins and our, our um, currency in God we trust. And I went through some of my currency here, different um, denominations, and I was looking, it's on all of it. It's on all of it. And um, of course, it was trying to, you know, some people tried to take it out, but it never got took out. It's because this nation was founded under God. This nation was founded under God and Jesus Christ. And they're trying to say you have to separate the state from the from the from the from the, from, from the Bible. Excuse me. How backwards they created it to make it sound like it was supposed to be something that they were supposed to be good. Good. I think it was in uh, two, uh, 19... Come on, Lord, give me the date. 1980, they, 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 they said that it was unlawful to have the Ten Commandments in a courtroom or in a schoolroom because we have to separate church from state. They got it all backwards. They got it all backwards. If God is head, if he's the one who is head, how do you take him out of everything and keep things organized like it's supposed to be? And some people say, and you can go on the internet and read all this. I don't have time to do it to you today. But all of this, you know, how what the Ten Commandments they say was something way back then in ancient time and it was given to the Israelites. Well, excuse me, if you look through the New Testament, you will find just about, except for the Sabbath day, every one of the commandments mentioned in the New Testament. Now, if it's mentioned in the New Testament, that means it's brought over to be for you and I to bear witness and you and I to live under. And if you look at the Ten Commandments, they are so simple. And any, if you've received Jesus Christ as your Savior, you don't have a problem living with them. In fact, I remember a time whenever when I got saved and I got filled with the Holy Ghost, I got sanctified and I had not joined a church. And when I read the bylaws of the church that I wanted to join, I had already fulfilled them all. Why? Because I was born again through Jesus Christ. I was sanctified by the Holy Spirit, and he had already cleansed me. You know, do, what, what are all the Ten Commandments? Anyway, I can give you scripture and I might put them in my in my notes, uh, comments on, on the website where you can find some of these uh, Ten Commandments in the New Testament. 
But what I'm trying to say, people, is God said the little foxes spoil the vine. And what we don't understand is the enemy slips in unawares by little, by little, by little, nipping, nipping, nipping here and nipping there, taking this and taking that. And before you know it, what we think is freedom is bondage under a few. Oh, my God, I don't want to get into politics, like I said, but it just struck me. And that's what he said. I said in here, we all know that America has trouble, has had been in trouble for a few years. God is waking up his church, his awesome church without spot or blemish. Sometimes we have been looking um, some. Something I had been looking for came to me a couple of days ago, which was the quarters. I wrote this down, so I, 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 I'm just. This is just not me uh, to talk any type of politics whatsoever. But when I saw that, I'm like, my God, how can they have that kind of a nerve? And then they applied it to something that was supposed to be evolving women. Something's not kosher. Something's not kosher. I'm sorry. It bothered me so much that I just had to bring it to your attention today. And I thank God. I thank God they have not taken in God we trust off of our currency. But just to have this quarter turn his back on the words said volumes to my spirit. Volumes. And I hope it speaks volumes to you. Anyway, in saying that, I told you just a minute ago, I'm going to give you the word that he gave me. It is the little foxes that spoil the vine. In other words, it's that little creeping in here and creeping in there. You know, have you ever thought about, okay, your kids, what they have on their walls or even the little signs that they might make? You know, what does this mean to you? Does this mean peace? Or does this mean the horns? Of, what does this mean? Does this mean, yeah, horns of Satan? Or does this mean uh, go, um, what is it, cowboy, uh, what is it in, in Texas? The longhorns, you know. What does it mean? Do you ask your children, what is hanging over your children's bed? Is it a cross? Is it a picture of Christ? Is it, is it, is it a saying to, to be encouraged kids to, to serve the living God? Or is it a picture of somebody that looks like a demon that's singing songs out here? What is it that your children are doing? Do you have the right to ask them, what does this mean to you when you say that to me? Does it mean this or does it mean that? Because there's several meanings and the enemy is taking meanings. I mean, A-OK -okay could mean that could mean the Trinity of Satan. The eye of the eye of the uh, of the um, owl. I mean, there's so many things that it could that could be leading your kids into a wrong way to know what they're doing. I know it sounds funny. I know probably a lot of people don't even, don't agree with me, and, and I'm sorry. I just have to give you my heart and try to open their eyes because that's what Jesus is doing in this word today. He's showing us just by these little things how we grew away from God, but how he's going to restore it too. It's awesome. It's awesome. He is coming with great power and great glory to restore America. Hallelujah to the Lamb. That's my little speech today. And I hope that it helped you to understand and you'll go and do some research. Go do some research for yourself and see for yourself. I have it in my possession and I didn't want to believe it. There's so many things I'm hearing and I don't want to believe them. But they're coming to pass. They're coming to pass. Here goes what Jesus is saying. Your enemy, and he's 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 um, explaining, he's warning, and he's revealing, and then he's going to he's going to encourage you with who he is and what he's about to do. Your enemy, he's telling us, is cunning and sly. He will tell you many truths to make you believe one lie. Little by little, he ripped at our nation's core. We didn't see that we were in a spiritual war. 
hidden from the public view was a deceptive coup. The elite many years ago, our nation's faith in God tried to overthrow. Changing our flag with a golden trim, changing America's standards from within. Suddenly from within are suddenly from inside our nation begins to divide. Are you hearing this? Many youths became pawns in his hand as they rebelled against laws of our land, against our parents recommended and God's statutes and, and commands. Recommends. Against our parents recommends and God's standards and commands. I could not write this. I promise you. Many times I've tried to sit down and write some, some rhymings for people, people I love and so forth. It just doesn't come. It just doesn't come. It comes when the Holy Spirit places that one thought in those words that he wants you to hear. So hear what he has to say. No longer states, states united we stand as corruption filtered throughout our land. Satan came in the back door. We did not see that we were at war. You hear what he's saying. Oh my God, my Lord and my King. I want to go over that because there is so much truth. So much truth he wants you to hear. I'm going to say this again. He is revealing, I guess is the word, how the enemy has come in and disrupted America. America was formed because in God we trust. And that's why President Eisenhower wanted it mandated. You put this on our coins and on our, our currency so people know where America stands. It stands with God Almighty and God alone. Hallelujah. When I say that, I mean he is the only God. Jesus Christ is his son who came in the form of flesh to die upon a cruel cross to save us all from hell. Thank you, Jesus. Hear it again. Your enemy is cunning and sly. He will tell you many truths to make you believe one lie. Got to remember, he knows the Lord because the Lord created him. He did not create him the way he is. He created him as being one of the greatest archangels in heaven. But pride took over and he fell. So he knows the creator. Little by little, he rips at our nation's core. We didn't see that it was a spiritual war. Hidden from the public view was a deceptive coup. The elite many years ago, our nation's faith in God to overthrow. Changing our flag with a golden trim, changing America's standards from within. Suddenly, from inside, our nation began to divide. Many youths became pawns in his hand as they rebelled against laws of our land, against what the parents recommended and God's statutes and commandments. No longer states un un united we stand as corruption filtered throughout our land. Satan came in the back door. We did not see that we were at war. The enemy stealing all that he can, our peace, our joy, riches, and our land. America is in a mess today and many wondering, how did we get this way? Oh my goodness, may eyes be open. Come on, come on. He gives us another way, reason. The Ten Commandments we should have kept Upon the altars we should have wept. But the end is not yet. The Lord is saying, my renovate is 
always praying. Ooh, hallelujah. What seemed like it was a dull and a, a discouraging word that he was presenting to us was just reality. Reality to wake us up. And now he's telling us what he's about to do. Ooh, hallelujah. The enemy's stealing all that he can, our peace, joy, riches, and our land. America is in a mess. Many wondering, how did we get this way? My goodness. The Ten Commandments, we should have kept upon the altars. We should have wept. But the end is not yet, the Lord is saying. My renament is always praying. My body now awake into the heart of evil goes a stake. Hallelujah. Now putting our on a God's army, armor, plowing the ground like a farmer, digging up corruptive roots, giving evil the boot, planting new seed in the ground that will turn our nation around. You think he's talking about plants? Come on, people. Read this through the Spirit. Watch and see what I will do for the red, white, and blue. As people on me, their trust I gain, truth in America again will reign. Ooh, hallelujah. As blinded eyes are open, seeds of truth in the core is woven. Now seeing what evil has done, we are ready to put evil on the run. As together we stand, we reclaim our land with a new fire in our heart, giving America a new start. We are coming before God's Son together as one. Closing hell's gates that cause in the world hate. Hallelujah. Do you remember? We are born with love, a piece of love in us, the Spirit of God. But hate is taught. Hate is taught. But love is there from the beginning, from the conception. We are coming before God's Son together as one, closing hell's gates that cause the world to hate. Now eyes open, no longer blind. We see it was the little foxes that spoiled the vine. Hallelujah. He came in suddenly, suddenly, cunningly, sly like a slimy snake. Little by little, stealing here and stealing there. While we were unaware. Love is what we now preach, the whole world we want to reach. Oh, what an awesome God we serve, so much mercy we do not deserve. His love always reaching out makes us want to sing and shout. Glory to God we now sing throughout the world, let it ring. The world We'll see a new change as new knowledge we gain. For the God of all creation is coming on the scene to answer all our hopes and dreams. To see America rise to the top, our seeds bringing in a new crop. <laughs> you still think that's planting of food? I think it's planting of a new generation that is not afraid. They wear no fear upon their vest and they run into the enemy's camp and they take back everything he stole. That's what I see in this new crop. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Y'all bear with me as I, as I re redo this. We, we talked about God giving us a view of how We've come. What has happened to us and why it's happened? Because we weren't watching. We weren't thinking of it as a spiritual war. That it is. Little things like changing the quarter. That may seem like nothing to other but, but it hit my soul like a ton of bricks. My Lord and my God.
The enemy stealing, just bear with me, I'm going to go through it real quick. The enemy stealing all that he can are peace, joy, riches, and land. America is in a mess today. Many are wondering, how did we get this way? The Ten Commandments we should have kept upon the altars we should have wept. But the end is not yet, the Lord is saying. My remnant is always praying. My body now awake into the heart of evil, a stake. Now putting on God's armor, plow, armor, plowing the ground like a farmer, digging up corrupted roots, giving evil the boot, planting new seeds in the ground that will turn our nation around. Youth, we're calling on you. Hallelujah. Watch and see what I will do for the red, white, and blue. As people on me, my they tr their trust I gain, truth in America again will reign. As blinded eyes are open, seeds of truth in the core is woven. Now seeing what evil has done, we are ready to put evil on the run. Hallelujah. As together we stand, we reclaim our land. With a new fire in our heart, giving America a new start. We are coming before God's Son together as one, closing hell's gates that cause the world to hate. Now eyes open, no longer blind, we see it was the little foxes that spoiled the vine. Love is what we now preach, the whole world we want to reach. Oh, what an awesome God we serve, so much mercy we do not deserve. His love always reaching out, makes us want to sing and shout. Glory to God is our new song. We now sing throughout the world. It will ring. Hallelujah. The world will see a new change as new knowledge we gain. For the God of all creation is coming on the scene to answer all our hopes and dreams. To see America rise to the top, our seeds Bringing in a new crop. Ooh, hallelujah, Moshana Masai. Glory be to God. Matthew 22, 37 says, Jesus said, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, your all your soul, and all your mind. This is the first and the great commandment, and the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. That's the two very first two commandments. Hello. Hallelujah. And then I can go on and give you, I give you scripture and I'll put them in the comments today. Uh, if you doubt that it's not been transferred to the New Testament. People want to say it's old, it's garbage, it's ancient. It went for the, it's for Israel, not for us. Excuse me. It's for every soul who serves the living God. Matt, uh, Song of Solomon. Oh, Matthew. When Matthew 23, listen to this. Woe you scri scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you pay tithes and mints and anise and cumin and have neglected the waiter matters of the law, justice, mercy, and faith. These you ought to have done without leaving out the other undone. Blind guides who strain out a gnat and swallow a camel. He's telling us. You do this little over here, but you leave out the greater things. You forget the greater things. Straining at a net and swallowing a cap. Come on, people. Song of Solomon says it best. Catch us the foxes, the little foxes that spoil the vine, for our vines have tender grapes. The new seed giving us a new crop. That's what the little foxes do. And don't you kid yourself for one second. The enemy is after your children. They're after your children, your teenagers, your youth, even going into the, the, the kindergarten schools, kindergarten, first grade through sixth grade, and trying to plant evil, hate, sin in their hearts. That's why it's so important for us parents to do what we can to keep them in the realm of God. 
Send them. If you know some place to send, I know one place to send. I would love to send every child I've ever known that from, from the age of six years old on up. And that would be to the river where they have fire uh, conferences for young people, little young children, and then youth, and then on up to the adults. And it sets them on fire, fills them with the Holy Ghost at a young age. That's just one that I know. I know there's plenty all over the place and I can't name them all. But I went to that school. So I know what they do. And I thank God for that. But I, I, it's already 30 minutes. So praise the Lord. Anyway, I just want to tell you, go to the internet. If you believe, don't believe anything I said about when I first started out about the coins, about, about the, um, uh, why they were put on there, who had it put on there. It's going to be on there for four years. They're going to be coming out like that for four years, according to, to, to the um, instructions that was given on it. And, um, you know, all of this stuff, just a little bit I mentioned, you go on the Internet, you can find it because it is in the the bylaws of, of, of all the Congress and everything that has been printed out. And you can see it. You can see it. But anyway, God is on his throne and he is coming on the scene. And that's where we need to stop. And that's where we need to start praising him and thanking him with everything we've got in us because he has not forgotten us. He has not forgotten America. He is not going to let the enemy win. He's already said that we've got him on the run. We got him on the run. Why? Because people have never stopped praying. We've always been praying for hope, for Holy Ghost move. It's happened here and it's happened there, but we want it to happen here in America. Even though there's been some here and some there, I believe with all my heart that you center we're going to plant in the West is going to start a great revival out there. The bookstore we're going to have in the East is going to start and the South is going to start a great revival in the South and the East. And I believe that with all my heart today. That's just two things that we're going to do as a ministry. And I can't imagine what you and I together are going to accomplish, not only in America, but all the way around the world. Oh, hallelujah to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and to his Father God, Father of all, who is in all and through all. <laughs> hallelujah. From the time we're conceived. Whew, I got to stop. I know I do. Anyway, I want you to know I love you so much. You know somebody that needs to hear this? Send it to them today. And know that God loves you so much more.